So in the previous video, we talked about how often you should requeen, and that of course is yearly. Now I wanna talk about the timing, and we're really talking about whether to requeen in the spring or the autumn. Now spring's the easiest time to do it, and because the colonies are smaller, the, and because they're smaller, the queen's easy to find, there's no robbing, but the problem is if things go wrong. If you put a queen in your colony in the spring and it dies or is superseded, which some of them do immediately, then there's gonna be less bees in your hives when you come to a honey crop and it's gonna affect your production. And really depending on how you're requeening, for instance, if you're using a cell, there'll be a break in the brood pattern, which will also reduce the number of bees for the honey crop. Now, autumn treatment is, is the, other, the other best, well, the only other time to do it, but autumn has lots more complications. The colonies are very large, so if you have to find the queen, it's very difficult to do so. Um, if you have the hives too open for too long, of course you've got robbing. And the hives are aggressive. Um, if you're doing it around taking honey off, it can be a real disaster. So you have to do it after a honey crop at a time when the bees have come down. No production losses due to it, but you do need to check that the queen it was successful because if the colonies go into the autumn without a queen, obviously that's going to be a disaster as well. So in summary, spring requeening is the easiest, but it has the disadvantages if that it doesn't work, you're going to get production losses. Autumn is really the best time to requeen. The disadvantage with it is it's much harder to do and more difficult. Um, and you still have to check for failures, but the failures, as long as you pick them up, aren't going to result in a production loss.